Okay, let's try again. For some reason the sound cut out with this YouTube app halfway through the recording last time. I think it was the alarm cutting in, something crappy within Apple's ecosystem that ruined the recording. I think the alarm interrupting the camera like turned the sound off or something. That's another issue for Apple to deal with, but anyway. Um, three Apple extended keyboards all manifesting themselves with the problem of a, a row of keys usually in this kind of a pattern usually just three or four keys in a single line not functioning presumably there's a membrane that's gone wrong or something's created a membrane track maybe it's a spill in it or something absolutely no idea but um these these are effectively junk because they cannot be used by anyone they're of no use so i'm you know either going to throw them out and they're useless or i'm going to try and repair them um taking them apart to repair them is well I mean, as they say in Italian slang, forget about it. You know, you may as well not do it. I mean, the reason being is that Apple have um, built these keyboards to be effectively almost unrepairable. They are glued horrendously together, um, laminated sort of glued construction with sort of, there's a sheet of metal, which is the main constructional part of the keyboard as well, in between this plastic and metal outer layer, which is effectively... Um, tack welded as well so you, you you can basically repair nothing in these keyboards i mean it's just literally horrendous how they've constructed this um so they cannot claim regardless of whether they have ep standards and they go oh, it's made of aluminium aluminium is recyclable but the truth is that objects that die like this and are unrepairable and end up getting thrown out are the worst kind of environmental sinners in a way I mean, something that's repairable, you can you can prevent it from going to the landfill. But just saying, oh, well, it's recyclable once it's reached the landfill, well, that's good. But it doesn't count if the thing only lasts two or three years and you manufacture it and sell it for, you know, £49 and then it ends up in a landfill three years later. You know, it's, it's really unenvironmentally friendly. So dishwashing last resort. Um, I'm not going to take all the keys off and put them all back on again because basically even taking the keys off you are liable to damage some of the keys or the scissor mechanisms underneath them um, this is just a desperate attempt to see whether any recovery can be made with them by dishwashing them which is what i'm going to stick them in now uh, 60 degree 30 minute wash let's see whether it makes any difference my view is that it's probably some kind of membrane issue and that dishwashing them will make no difference but i might be wrong anyway let's try and save the environment from some apple based landfill um, not that I think that's going to really make anything any better, um, dishwashing them, but I mean, it's worth a go, isn't it? I mean, what is there to lose? All right, um, let's put this back in and, uh, I'll catch you back up with the video once they've, uh, dried out over two days, once they've been through the 60 degree dishwashing and dried out. All right. Okay. I'll speak to you later. Bye.